Hello and welcome to another tutorial in monitoring of forest resources. Like always, my name is Lutz Fermann and I'm here with my colleague Edwin and another colleague from China with Chu. And I like to demonstrate in this short video how you can approximately estimate the volume of a tree. And we have this spruce tree here and the formula that I will apply now to get an approximation of the volume is the formula proposed by Densin. Mr. Densin proposed a very simple basic formula in 1929. It was published in the German Journal for Forestry. And the formula is very, very simple. If you like to get an approximation of the volume, you calculate diameter to the power of 2 divided by 1000. And then after that you need some corrections to this formula depending on the tree height. So we need two information. We need the diameter of the tree and we need the height of the tree. So Edwin, can you please measure the diameter of this tree here with the diameter tape? So Edwin is using the hook because it is a quite big tree. And the diameter that we see here is 49.3. So the diameter is 49.3. And now I ask my colleague Shu from a distance to measure the tree height with the laser rangefinder. The tree height is 28.8. Okay, thank you Chu. So the tree height is 28.8 meters for this spruce tree. Before I start to calculate following the formula of Densin, we may ask our colleagues about a rough estimate, about a guess. Shu, what do you think? How much cubic meters in, in volume does such a spruce tree has? Around four. So around four is a rough guess. Edwin, what is your opinion? Around two, maybe. Maybe two, so half of it. So somewhere between two and four is a rough estimate. But now we like to calculate it a little bit more accurate. So. As I told you before, the formula of Densin is very simple. We take the diameter to the power of 2 and divide by 1000. And this formula doesn't make any sense from a mathematical perspective. Because we are here entering the diameter in centimeters and we get a result in cubic meters. However, surprisingly, this formula works very well and Mr. Densin takes a lot of assumptions for this formula. For example, that the volume, the resulting volume, is for a norm height of 25 meters. For each meter in height difference, negative or positive, we need to add or subtract 3% of the calculated volume as a correction factor. Okay, let's do the calculation. So we measured a diameter of 49.9. We take this to the power of 2 and we divide this by 1000. And our result is 2.49 cubic meters. However, this is for a norm height of 25 meters. The actual height of this tree was 28.8 meters. So let's calculate the difference. 28.8 minus 25. We have a difference of 3.8 meters. And for each meter difference we need to add 3% to our first result. So we take this times 3%, 0 0.03. So we need to add 11.4%. And that means I need to calculate my first result which was 2.49 and I need to multiply with 1.114. And the final result would be 2.77 cubic meters for this spruce tree. So 2.77 cubic meter is a rough estimate, but if you try out this formula, at least here in Central Europe, in Germany, it works quite well. Mr. Densin also proposed better or more accurate correction factors for different tree species, but this norm height of 25 meters and the 3% plus minus is a general estimation formula. 
You should have learned something about form factors in the lecture. A form factor gives us the relation between the actual volume of a tree and the volume of a cylinder where we take the diameter, the dbh, as diameter of the cylinder and the length of the cylinder is the tree height. So it gives us the relation between this geometric shape of a cylinder and the actual wood volume inside the cylinder. If we now assume that the formula of Dancine gives us a quite good approximation of the true volume, we can use this 2.77 cubic meters to calculate a form factor of this tree. What we need to do for this is we need to calculate the cylinder volume taking the dbh we have measured and the tree height we have measured as input variables. Well, this is something that I can do here for you. So we would need to calculate the basal area of the tree, the cross-sectional area, preferably in square meters, and we need to multiply this with the height of the tree. To calculate the cross-sectional area of the single stem, I need to calculate P divided by 4 times the diameter to the power of 2. Since I like to have it in cubic meters at the end, I direct, directly input the diameter in meters. So it was 0 0.499 to the power of 2. This is now our cross-sectional area and now I multiply with the tree height of 28.8 meters and I get a cylinder volume of 5.6 3 cubic meters. To calculate the form factor, I now need to divide the actual volume we get from Dancine's formula by this cylinder volume. Let me just do this. This was 2.77 cubic meters for Dancine, and I divide it by the cylinder volume of 5.63. And the form factor that I have calculated for this spruce tree now is 0 0.49, so close to 0 0.5. Such a form factor is not stable over the lifetime of a tree. It varies depending on the size of the trees. Usually it ranges between 0 0.35 up to 0 0.55. But if we take a common form factor of 0 0.5, it is usually good enough to get a rough estimate, at least if we are in conditions like here. So, you should have learned something about Dancine's formula and what a form factor is. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you back in one of our next tutorials.